The Window World Sports Report with Connor Rio. All right, now who doesn't love a good backyard game, right? Tailgate, beach day, barbecue, whatever the case may be, there's few more popular than cornhole. But if you're like me, that also means you've got one or two or five or six friends, you know who you are, that once the proper libations are flowing, swear that they could be pros, they could win tournaments, they could beat any challenger far and wide, but they have not met Frank Modlin. You know, there's a lot of guys that, uh, you know, they get a few, uh, they have a few drinks and stuff and their, their confidence goes up a little bit. But then, uh, then you just have to kind of play them and remind them exactly where you're at. <laughs> Now, Modlin's Cornhole team finished 2020 ranked third in the country, and they joined a number of other pros at the Virginia Beach Fieldhouse today, where the Hampton Road Sports Commission hosted the Best of the Beach National Cornhole Tournament. There's quite a few people now that are actually playing uh, the sport uh, as a career. Uh, you know, and a lot of people don't know that. Uh, there's a lot of young guys that uh, actually do this for a living now. Uh, the tournament has $17,000 in total payouts, runs through Sunday, and it's not just pros. There's a mid-level division, a beginner tier as well, and a portion of the proceeds go to local boys and girls clubs. More on that tournament at 11.